Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet these baby booties using the Alpine Stitch, which is part of this baby set that I showed you already for a baby between six and nine months old. It includes the baby pants, the baby hat, and the matching cardigan. Down here in the information box, I'll leave you the link to those tutorials. Now, this is the second version to these baby booties. I already have this tutorial. Um, this is just the basic baby booty pattern, so I'll go ahead and leave the link to these as well down here in the information box. Okay, so I hope you like them, and without further say, let's get started, and thank you for watching. Okay, to begin, I'll be using this three millimeter crochet hook, and today I'm using this light number three baby yarn. To begin, I have 15 chains into the third chain from the hook, one, two, three. I'm going to make a double crochet. A double crochet into the next chain, double crochet into the next chain, and so on. Here, we're going to work 12 double crochet, so one double crochet on each one of the chains. I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we're going to do into this last chain. Okay, I'm here at the end. I only have one chain left here, and I did a total of 12 double crochets. Here at the end, we have two chains as well. Okay, so here, into this last chain right here, we're going to make seven double crochets. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven double crochets into this last chain. Let's see, we have two, four, six, seven. Now, we're going to go back along this side of the chain and work these 12 double crochets. So here, into this first chain right there, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve double crochets. Now, we need to make seven more double crochets just like we did here into the last stitch. So here, just go into this stitch, you see? It's right there. It's um, Make sure that it's this stitch right here, right in the very center. Or what you can do is just go into the first chain out of these two right there at the very end. I think I'm going to do that instead. Go in there and make your seven double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven double crochets. Now to finish, go to the top of the first double crochet right there and join with a slip stitch. And this is how we finish the first row. So we have 12 double crochets along this side, then we did seven double crochets into the last chain, and then we worked 12 double crochets along this other side, and then we did seven double crochets along this side. So you should have a total of 38 double crochets. Now, for the second row, we're going to chain one, and here we're going to change to half double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, and make your first half double crochet. That's one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven half double crochets, and twelve. Now into the next seven double crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you're going to work two half double crochets into each one of them. So that's two, into the next, make two half double crochets, three and four, into the next two more, five and six, into the next, seven and eight, into the next, nine and ten, into the next, eleven and twelve, into the next, thirteen and fourteen, okay? And that's what it looks like. Now, we're going to continue along this side and make these twelve half double crochet sets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12 half double crochets and into the next seven we're going to work two half double crochets into each one. Two, four, six, seven. So beginning into this next one make two half double crochets into the next two half double crochets that's three and four into the next five and six into the next seven and eight, into the next, nine and ten, into the next, eleven and twelve, into the next, thirteen and fourteen. Now to finish this second row, go on top of the first half double crochet right there and join with a slip stitch. And that's how we finish the second row with a total of, let's see, we have 12 along this side, 12 along this side, and then here we did 14. So 14 plus 14 plus 24. So that's a total of 52 stitches. Now I'll come back and show you the third row. Okay, so now for the third row, we're going to chain one and into this same stitch here, make one half double crochet. Here we're going to work 15 half double crochets. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 15 half double crochets. Now into the next 11 stitches, we're going to work two half double crochets into each one of these next stitches. So beginning into the next stitch, make two half double crochets. That's one and two. Into the next, three and four. Into the next, five and six. Into the next, seven and eight into the next, nine and ten, into the next, eleven and twelve, into the next, thirteen and fourteen, into the next, fifteen and sixteen, 
into the next, 17 and 18 into the next, 19 and 20 and into the last one, 21 and 22. Now here we're going to work these 15 half double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, now into the last 11 stitches, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, you're going to do the same thing we did here, two half double crochets into each one. So that's 1 and 2, 3 and 4, 5 and 6, 7 and 8, nine and ten, eleven and twelve, thirteen and fourteen, fifteen and sixteen, seventeen and eighteen, nineteen and twenty, and into the last, 21 and 22. Now to finish go to the top of the first half double crochet and join with a slip stitch and this is how we finish the third row. Now in this third row we did 15 for this side, 15 for this side and then on both ends we did 22 and 22 so that gives us a total of 74 half double crochets. Okay I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. Okay, so we finished making the third row and we have a total of 74 half double crochets all around. What I did here is cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop and I went ahead and did the other one. So here we're going to continue along. We're going to find the center of the back of the baby booty. So all I did was fold it like this and then I put a stitch marker right there. So I'm going to remove the stitch marker now and I'm just going to insert my hook right there. Okay, so this is where I had my stitch marker, so into this half double crochet, I'm going to insert my hook like this. So we're going to have a total of 11 front post double crochets for this side here, up to here. So let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, perfect. Just wanna make sure that this is the center stitch. Now, grab this loop, bring it through the front like this and chain two. One, two. Now into this same stitch insert your hook again like this and make a front post double crochet. The two chains do not count as a stitch. Okay, so here's our first front post double crochet. Then into the next, do the same thing, front post double crochet into the next front post double crochet and so on. Continue like this all around and I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay I'm here at the end of this first row I have a total of 74 stitches all around. Now to finish go on top of the first stitch this one here not the chains but on top of the first stitch and join with a slip stitch. Now for the second row we're going to chain two and turn. Now in this row, right here, right into the stitch that we did the slip stitch, right here, it's gonna be a little hard, insert your hook there and make your first double crochet. Now the next double crochet, which is this one here, you're going to work into a front post double crochet, then on top of the next, make a double crochet, the next one work into a front post double crochet on top of the next make a double crochet 
The next one, work a front post double crochet and on top of the next a double crochet. This is all you're going to do for the second row. You're just going to alternate between a front post double crochet then a double crochet on top. Continue like this all around. I'll meet you here at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this second row. I have 74 stitches all around. Now to finish, go on top of the first double crochet and join with a slip stitch. That's how we finish this row. Now what I'm going to do here for this third row is I'm going to reduce two stitches here at the beginning and at the end. So to do this, we're going to yarn over and this first stitch that we have here from the second row, this one here is a double crochet. So I'm going to insert the hook like this, grab a loop, take two loops off, leave two loops on the hook, yarn over, on top of the front post double crochet, insert your hook, grab a loop, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Again, yarn over, this next double crochet, insert your hook like this, grab a loop, take two loops off, leave two loops on the hook, yarn over, on top of the front post double crochet, grab a loop, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Okay, so here are our two stitch reductions. Now, from here on, all the double crochets, we're going to work into front post double crochets and all of the front post double crochets on top, you're going to make a double crochet. This is how we're going to alternate for this third row. Front post double crochet, double crochet on top. Front post double crochet, double crochet on top of the front post double crochet. Okay. Front post double crochet, double crochet on top of the next. Continue like this and I'll meet you here right before we finish to show you how we're going to work um, the same thing, these two stitch reductions. Okay, I'm here at the end of this third row. I still have these four stitches here left. So here we're going to do the same thing we did here at the beginning. We're going to reduce these two stitches. So yarn over, insert your hook into this double crochet like this, grab a loop, take two loops off, leave two loops on the hook, yarn over again, on top of this front post double crochet, grab a loop, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Again, yarn over, insert your hook like this into this double crochet, take two loops off, yarn over, on top of the front post double crochet, which is the last stitch, grab a loop, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Now to finish, go on top of the first stitch, which is a stitch reduction right there, and join with a slip stitch. And this is how we finish this third row. Now we have a total of 70 stitches. Now for the fourth row, we're going to chain two, and on top of this first stitch, we're going to make a double crochet. Now here, if you notice, I have some stitch markers. Here we're going to work a total of 20 stitches, then we're going to reduce this part here. Between this stitch marker and this stitch marker, I have 30 stitches, and then between this stitch marker and here at the end, there's 20. So we have 20 plus 20 plus 30, that's 70 stitches. So in this fourth row, here, what you're going to do into this next stitch, which is this one here, you're just going to insert your hook like this and work a front post double crochet. On top of the next stitch, which is a front post double crochet, make a double crochet. Then the next is a double crochet, work a front post double crochet. On top of the front post double crochet, make a double crochet and into the double crochet, make a front post double crochet. From here, you're just going to continue until you have 20 stitches, which is about here. I will meet you here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished working these 20 stitches. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now, into these next 30 stitches, this is what we're going to do. We're going to yarn over. This next stitch here is a front post double crochet, so we know that on top we, we make a double crochet. We're not going to close it in this case. We're going to leave two loops. We're going to yarn over. Then the next is a double crochet, so insert your hook like this, grab a loop, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Here's the first stitch reduction, which counts as one double crochet, or one stitch. Now, yarn over again, 
on top of the next stitch, this is a front post double crochet, you're going to grab a loop, take two loops off, yarn over, then the next, insert your hook like this, grab a loop, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Again, yarn over, on top of the next, grab a loop, take two loops off, yarn over, into the next, insert your hook like this, grab a loop, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Again, yarn over, on top of the next, take two loops off, yarn over, into the double crochet, insert your hook like this, take two loops off, three loops, close. Yarn over, on top of the next stitch, take two loops off, yarn over, insert your hook like this into the double crochet, take two loops off, three loops, close. This is how I'm going to continue all the way until I come to the next stitch marker, which is a total of 30 stitches, like I said. So. Okay, and there it is. Now, we should have a total of 15 stitches here now. Let's see, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 stitches. And that's what it looks like. Now, here into these next 20 stitches, we're just going to continue and work these stitches. Now, this next stitch is a front post double crochet, so right on top, make a double crochet. The next stitch, work a front post double crochet, the next stitch, make a double crochet on top, front post double crochet, and so on. Continue and finish these 20 stitches and I'll meet you here at the end. Okay, I'm here at the end of this fourth row. Now to finish, go on top of the first stitch. In this case, it's a double crochet. You just join there with a slip stitch. And this is how we finished the fourth row. Now in the fourth row we had 20 plus 20 plus 15, so that's 55 stitches for the fourth row. Now for the fifth row we're going to chain two, and here this first stitch right here is a double crochet, so I'm going to work a front post double crochet. On top of the front post double crochet we're going to make a double crochet, then front post double crochet, and then double crochet on top. I'm going to do this until I have a total of 18 stitches. So right here, I'll meet you right here once we have these 18 stitches to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these 18 stitches here now. Into these next two stitches, which is a double crochet and a front post double crochet, we're going to work a stitch reduction again. So yarn over, insert your hook like this into this double crochet, grab a loop, take two loops off, yarn over, on top of the front post double crochet, grab a loop, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Okay, so now on top of the next stitch reduction that we did here, this here is the front, so we have 15 stitches. So on top of this next stitch, I'm going to make a double crochet. Now we have the next stitch. There's two ways to work these stitches here. You can either yarn over and insert your hook like this and work the front post where you go through both stitches like this. Close and there's your front post double crochet. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. I'm going to go into the first stitch. Remember the stitch reduction has two stitches. It's got the front post double crochet and the double crochet into one stitch. I'm going to go through the double crochet like this and work my front double crochet like this. 
See, we're not reducing or anything. We're just working the front post double crochets into the double crochet. Now into the next stitch, work a double crochet on top. This doesn't change. You just do a double crochet on top. But when we do the front post double crochets, then you can either go through both stitches like this and work your double crochet or do what I'm doing, which is only go through one of the little legs. See it like this, into the double crochet and work the front post double crochet. On top of the next, make a double crochet, then front post double crochet, double crochet, front post double crochet, double crochet on top of the next stitch, front post double crochet, double crochet, front post double crochet, double crochet on top of the next, front post double crochet, and a double crochet on top of the last stitch reduction that we did on a previous row. Now into these next two stitches, the double crochet and the front post double crochet, I'm going to yarn over, then this stitch here, I'm going to go through like this, grab a loop, take two loops off, then on top of the front post double crochet, insert your hook, grab a loop, take two loops off, close. So here at the end we did a stitch reduction. See, there it is. Now here we're just going to continue and work these 18 stitches. So this is a double crochet, so we're going to work a front post double crochet, then a double crochet on top, front post double crochet, double crochet, and so on. Here you're just going to do the same thing we did here at the beginning. And this is what it looks like now. The the front or the baby booty. Okay, continue like this and I'll meet you at the end of this fifth row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this fifth row. Now to finish, go on top of the first stitch here and join with a slip stitch. And this is how we finish the fifth row, now with a total of 53 stitches all around. Now for the sixth row, we're going to chain two and into the same stitch we did the slip stitch, make a double crochet. Then this next stitch work a front post double crochet. On top of the next, make a double crochet, front post double crochet, then double crochet. Continue like this until we have a total of 18 stitches. I'll meet you here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these 18 stitches here along this side for this sixth row. Now here, what we're going to do is into the stitch after the stitch marker, right on top, we're going to make a double crochet. Then we have these next, let's see, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16 stitches. Here, what we're going to do is we're going to work stitch reductions. So yarn over, this stitch that's here is a double crochet, so insert your hook like this, take two loops off, yarn over, then the next stitch is a front post double crochet, so on top, insert your hook, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Here's our first stitch reduction. Again, yarn over, the next stitch is a double crochet, grab a loop, take two loops off, yarn over, on top of the front post double crochet, grab a loop, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Again, yarn over, insert your hook like this into this double crochet, grab a loop, take two loops off, yarn over, on top of the front post double crochet, grab a loop, take two loops off, three loops, close. This is how I'm going to continue for this part here. front post double crochet, take two loops off, 
leave two loops, yarn over, and then we have this stitch reduction. See, right there at the very end. Right on top, insert your hook, grab a loop, take two loops off, three loops, close. And this is how we're going to work this part here. And that's what it looks like. So now here we have, let's see how many stitches. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stitches. Now go into the next stitch, which is this one here. It's a front post double crochet. So on top, make a double crochet and then front post, double crochet, then double crochet, and so on. Continue and, fin and finish these 18 stitches, and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, I'm here at the end of this sixth row. Now to finish, go on top of the first stitch and join with a slip stitch. That's how we finish this row. Now with a total of 45 stitches. So we had 18 plus 18 plus nine, so that's 45 stitches. Now for the seventh row, chain two, and this first double crochet here, I'm going to work into a front post double crochet, then double crochet on top of the next, front post double crochet, then double crochet, and so on. Here we're going to work these 18 stitches, so continue and I'll meet you here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these 18 stitches here. Now what we're going to do here is the following. We're going to reduce only one stitch in this um, in this part here. It may seem like we're reducing more, but no, we're only going to reduce this double crochet that's here. So to do that, we're going to yarn over, then we're going to work this double crochet into a front post double crochet, take two loops off, leave two loops on the hook, yarn over, now into this next stitch, right on top, insert your hook, grab a loop, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. So here is the stitch reduction. Now, from here on, we're going to work the same stitch, but we're only going to go through each one of these double crochets from the stitch reductions that we have here. Each one of the stitches has two stitches, the front post and then the double crochet. I'm going to be inserting my hook like this on each one of the double crochets. So let me show you. Yarn over into this next stitch right here. This is actually the same stitch where I did this double crochet. See right there where I closed the, the reduction I mean. So into the same stitch right there, insert your hook like this, grab a loop, take two loops off, yarn over on top of this next stitch, grab a loop, take two loops off, three loops, close. Right there. Again, yarn over into this same stitch, insert your hook like this, grab a loop, take two loops off, yarn over on top of the next stitch, grab a loop, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Again, yarn over, insert your hook into the second stitch right here, like this, grab a loop, take two loops off, yarn over, go on top of the next stitch, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Again, yarn over, insert your hook like this into the stitch, grab a loop, take two loops off, leave two loops, yarn over, go on top of the next stitch, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Again, yarn over, into the second stitch, take two loops off, yarn over on top of the next stitch, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Make sure that you don't go into the next stitch. See, this stitch here, this is where we close the stitch, but then again I go into this same stitch and insert my hook. I don't go over the next stitch. If I do that, there's going to be a gap, so that's why I'm working this part here like this and then on top, and then again, and there it is. This is how we're going to work this part here. And now 
we had nine stitches here in the previous row, so now we have eight because we did this stitch reduction here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now here, the stitch after the stitch marker is a double crochet, so we're going to work a front post, double crochet, then double crochet on top, and then front post, double crochet, and so on. Now here, just finish working these 18 stitches, and I'll meet you here at the end. Okay, I'm here at the end of this seventh row. Now to finish, go on top of the first stitch here and make a slip stitch. This is how we finish this row with a total of 44 stitches. We have 18 plus 18 on this side, and then we have eight now here on this side. So here for the eighth row, chain two, and into the same stitch here where we did the slip stitch, make a double crochet, then into the next stitch, work a front post double crochet, double crochet, and so on. Here, we're going to work these 18 stitches, so continue like this, and I'll meet you here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these 18 stitches here, so now what we're going to do here is the following. Now, on top of this next stitch, which is a stitch after the stitch marker right here, insert your hook, grab a loop, take two loops off, yarn over, into the next stitch like this we have this stitch here so insert your hook like this grab a loop take two loops off three loops on the hook close again yarn over on top of this stitch right here take two loops off yarn over into the next stitch insert your hook like this grab a loop take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Again, yarn over on top of the next stitch, take two loops off, yarn over into the next stitch, insert your hook like this, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Again, yarn over on top of the next stitch, take two loops off, yarn over into the last stitch here, grab a loop, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Now, this is how we're going to work this part here. Now we have four stitches here, one, two, three, four. Now continue along this side here, just doing the same thing. Now just make a double crochet into the next stitch, then a front post double crochet, and so on. Finish making these 18 stitches, and I'll meet you here at the end. Okay, I finished making this eighth row. Now we have for this row 40 stitches. We have 18 plus 18 plus four. Okay, so now here, for the ninth row, chain two, in this first stitch here, we're going to work a front post double crochet, then a double crochet on top of the next, then front post double crochet. Continue like this until we finish these 18 stitches, and I'll meet you here to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these 18 stitches here, so now into these next four stitches, this is what we're going to do. We're going to yarn over on top of the first stitch, grab a loop, take two loops off, yarn over on top of the next, grab a loop, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. Again, yarn over on top of the next stitch, grab a loop, take two loops off, yarn over on top of the last stitch, grab a loop, take two loops off, three loops on the hook, close. And this is how we're going to work this part here. Now we have two stitches and then continue along in the same way. This next stitch here is we need to do a front post double crochet on top of the front post double crochet. Make a double crochet, front post double crochet, then double crochet. Continue and finish these last 18 stitches and I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this ninth row, and this is what our baby booty looks like so far. Now, what we're going to do into the next um, two rows is we're going to work front post and back post double crochets. Now, in this last row that we just did, we have a total of 38 stitches, so that's the number of stitches that we're going to have from here on. So now, to work your tenth row, you're going to chain two, and this first double crochet that's here is a front post double crochet. So in this next row, we're going to work a back post double crochet, then front post double crochet, then back post double crochet, then front post 
double crochet. Now continue like this when you come to these two stitch reductions we have here you're going to treat them as one. So and then continue along and finish. When you're done you're going to join here to the beginning where we have this back post double crochet with a slip stitch, chain two and then repeat the same row. You're going to start with a back post double crochet then front, back, front and so on. We're going to do this for row 10 which is this one here and row 11. I'll meet you at the end of the 11th row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making this 11th row. I just joined here to the beginning with a slip stitch and I have a total of 38 stitches. Now, for the next row, we're going to chain two. And here, what we're going to do are double crochets all around. So these double crochets, we're going to make sure that we only go through the front loop of each one of these stitches. Not the back loop, but the front loop like this. So into this first stitch, make your first double crochet, then into the next, a double crochet. So continue like this all around, just making these double crochets, and I'll meet you at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this row of double crochets, and I have a total of 38 stitches all around. Now, what I did here was I just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch, cut my yarn, and then passed my yarn through that last loop, and this part here is done. Now, the next couple rows, we're going to work them um, in the following way. I'm going to use the blue color again, so here we're going to work the next row from the inside out. So, beginning here on top of this stitch that's next to where we finished, this is where we finished, I'm going to insert my hook there, grab this loop, bring it through the front like this and chain, chain two, one and two. And into the same stitch here, make a double crochet. The next double crochet work a front post double crochet. On top of the next stitch, make a double crochet. The next work a front post double crochet double crochet on top of the next, front post, double crochet, double crochet, and front post, double crochet. Continue like this for this row and I'll meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this row now. Here what I'm going to do is I'm going to make one more stitch right here. The, these are actually the chains, so right there I'm going to insert my hook and make a, a double crochet. I'm going to do this because if I join to the beginning then I'm going to have a gap here and I don't want that. So now to finish, go on top of the first stitch and join with a slip stitch. And that's how we finish this row now with a total of 39 stitches. Now for row now for the second, third, and fourth row, you're just going to repeat and alternate these two rows. You're going to chain two and always look at the previous row and look at the first stitch. In this case, it's just a normal double crochet, so you're going to work a front post double crochet. Then where we have the front post double crochets, you're going to make a double crochet, and then front post double crochet, and so on. You're going to alternate on each row and do the opposite of what you did on the previous row. So continue like this and I'll meet you at the end of the fourth row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this third row here. All I did was um, cut my yarn and I'm just going to pass my yarn through this last loop and this part here is done. So here is my finished booty. This is what it looks like. Now I went ahead and added um, a chain here. This is a chain of 100 chains and all I did was weaved it here into this row of the front post and back post double crochets right in the very center and then I just weaved it through and then into this side here. And then I added this little button, made a little bow and here at the end I made these little pom-poms. All I did was wrap yarn around my fingers and then um, tie them with this same um, string here. I left a little string at the end of this chain and with that I tie them and that's all I did. So my baby booty is done using the alpine stitch and that's what it looks like. Now here is the first version that you all saw already. There it is. And the second version is done now. Okay, so this has been today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.